I get chatting to river keepers a lot, and one of the topics that comes up a lot is that signal crayfish are having a detrimental effect by eating lots of fish eggs. But do they actually do this? Is there any evidence of this? Signal crayfish are not native to Britain, being introduced from America for the food market. They escaped and are now found in most of the rivers in England. They aren't fussy in diet, eating pretty much whatever they can grab with their claws, but do fish eggs make up a large part of their diet? Well, if we take salmon, for example, these fish spawn in the depths of winter in fast flowing water, laying the eggs in highly oxygenated areas. Crayfish slow down massively in the winter, not moving as much, and even at the best of times, don't like tackling fast flows. So the likelihood of signal crayfish pushing against fast, cold water is low. What about cyprinids which spawn in the summer, often in lower flows? They're more likely to be predated, but often on weeds, which are more difficult for the crayfish to reach. So does that mean that signal crayfish don't impact fish spawning? Well, not exactly, not at least in the way you might expect. One of the major issues signal crayfish cause is digging into riverbanks, which causes them to collapse and lots of mud to enter the river. This chokes the gravels with mud, which makes it harder for chub, barbel and salmon to successfully spawn. So in an indirect way, they are causing less fish in the river, but not by eating them, but by suffocating the spawning grounds. So in short, signal crayfish are detrimental to fish stocks. And rather depressingly, there's not a great deal you can do to get rid of signal crayfish once they get into a new water body. So it's incredibly important not to spread them around and to check our gear before we go to new waterways. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and comment down below. And if you can subscribe to the channel, it means the world to me and really helps the channel grow. I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers. Hey Laura. Yes, Ellie. Do you ever wish we knew more about the lives of British fish? Every single day. Wait, what's that over there? It's Jack Pix promoting his latest book, The Field Guide to British Fish. My God, you're right. If you enjoyed this vid, why not check out this other video right here? If you can, please subscribe to the channel. It only takes a couple of seconds and it really helps me out. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.